The book had one very scary thought for me. And Ludwig von Mises, being an Austrian economist, talked in depth about Germany after World War I. Specifically, he cited the fact that the Weimar Republic, or Germany after World War I, was saddled with the war debts of all of the victors, which made World War II inevitable because it caused hyperinflation, the crash of the German economy, and enabled the rise of Nazism, in addition to all the discontent towards the rest of the world. Specifically, though, what he cites is the Weimar Republic at time of collapse had a debt to GDP ratio of roughly 68 percent. However, if you compare that to the United States in 2024, we currently have a debt to GDP ratio of 129 percent or almost double that of the Weimar Republic when it fell. Therefore, it means the victors of World War I basically treated Germany better than the modern American politician treats its own constituents. And the fall of the United States economy would be, in some ways, far more likely than the fall of the Weimar Republic. And again, since that was seen as inevitable, it only seems like a matter of time until the U.S. economy collapses. And that's why I say modern politicians like Donald Trump are crazy because they're basically playing a game of hot potato of passing the debt until the next person uh, holds on to it and then the inevitable collapse happens. And they'll blame whoever that politician is for the entire collapse.